I think it's quite important that you have experiences outside the normal classroom and I think our school with uh, its bilingual nature offers that anyway mm -hmm. uh, and also offers the opportunity for when you're doing other subjects to the media of mm -hmm. the language uh, to be enhancing your language skills. In terms of modern languages we offer quite a lot as well in terms of uh, uh, part of the city offering opportunities to go to Strasbourg mm -hmm. to the European Parliament. Uh, there are competitions like the Gaelic Debate Competition which take uh, the finalists in the uh, Scottish Parliament. So these things are quite high profile and quite attractive to mm -hmm. young people. Uh, things like uh, film competitions and any competition really where they see that they can participate in mm -hmm. uh, uh, anything like that is, is, usually quite, uh, is usually quite good. And the support of external visitors and um, people coming in from outside to support them with their uh, interdisciplinary project or with their baccalaureate is also very supportive to show links with, uh, with other agencies and with other people too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think that um, in terms of trying to boost numbers post S4, really what has come before it um, plays a, a key role and certainly in my faculty we've been constantly moderating um, curriculum maps and really looking at the society, the learning, the employability and the culture and how that can feed into project work and learning through film as well and that's really boosted a lot of motivation. It's also encouraged learners to take on much more of a role of leadership in their own learning as well as building confidence. Um, we have also taken looked at um, taking more innovative approaches to assessment. So for example in listening assessment um, for third year at one point recently we included very fluent speakers of French in this case at advanced higher to video record a, a listening mm -hmm. um, exercise and that, and that proved to be really motivational for the end users of third year who were using that as a, as a listening mm -hmm. exam and it was also very motivational for the, the six years involved because they really felt as if they had a key input to in that yeah. assessment. So it was it was a different approach rather than what I would call a blind listening just played through a CD because third years youngsters or learners at that point wouldn't normally be expected to or exposed to um, a real life situation where they're not actually seeing the person talking. So that was part of the decision taken around that. Also with younger pupils we did something similar. We used a, a video link with a, a school in Lyon with whom the authority has a, a partnership link and again the recipro reciprocated video links with them we sent and we received video links of them talking about themselves, their home area and that fed into an assessment which was very useful. Mm -hmm. um, something that we found challenging was that you talked about um, learning out with the usual classroom environment and we wanted to include more trips to for example the Glasgow Film Theatre and so on and that proved for various reasons um, difficult because so much was happening in the school so we decided to have a, in our, in our case, a Renfrew Film Theatre and we included um, showings of French films and Spanish films after school in, in the school theatre um, and that went down very well and the numbers were high and again that just engendered this feeling for um, motivation for language learning and again in a different context. Mm. We also decided to offer um, for third years who already had been working in an employability context to offer the languages, the SQA languages for work purposes award and I think that exercise definitely with parents at a time when the youngsters were faced with making a choice as to whether or not to continue a language, it was really important because they saw that actually they were leaving at that exit point with real achievement and it was at that point the only subject in the school they were leaving with some sort of formalised qualification. So for us that really worked in helping to sustain the motivation and to get youngsters to continue with language mm. in S4 and afterwards. Yeah. I think what's formed um, the kind of success of modern languages at my school is how we've gained feedback from our pupils and how they've enjoyed modern languages and tried to build on that positive experience that they've had with us. As a department we constantly monitor um, pupil opinion and their experiences of French and Spanish. Uh, gauging pupil response and participation is really an integral part of our lessons. We always look to involve pupils uh, in the lesson itself as much as possible through questioning um, and a range of stimulating activities that they become involved in. 
Uh, we seek more formal feedback from people through surveys. We've used SurveyMonkey to assess the appropriateness, for example, of our Spanish taster in terms of the content and um, how well Spanish would be received if it was actually offered as part of the curriculum and the feedback was actually so positive uh, that Spanish has gone from being just a taster in S2 or a crash higher in S6 uh, to becoming part of the curriculum itself through all the other year groups. Um, pupils can also access our um, website and our department blog and seek feedback on their work or give feedback to teachers on lessons or topics and they can also use that blog to seek support and advice and information really on any aspect of the course and it's allowed them to become much more involved in learning and I think that's really played a, a, a really big part in motivating them to want to continue on um, in the senior phase. Mm -hmm. okay.